Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 335i. So today, guys, I'm at Erlan's place right now. I'm waiting on him to get outside. He's getting a few things. We're about to head down and check out that, that car that we've been literally getting all the parts from. We might actually buy the entire car. We don't really know, but we're gonna, we're gonna I'm still gonna go get some parts. I'm thinking about getting some fiber optic cables. I'm thinking about getting the whole amp system. I'm gonna be doing the rewiring. You guys know me, I want the I want the music, guys. I want the music. It's as, as hard as it is for me to install it all, I really want it still. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for him to get outside. Once we go outside, we're gonna go ahead down to Stockton, which is about like an hour away from where we live. Um, not from where he lives, or where we live. And then uh, hopefully we can pick up all that stuff and then we'll get back to you guys, um, you know, with what we got. But before we actually start the video, I'm just gonna be shouting out the people who supported the channel by purchasing a decal and who have donated to the channel. If you guys wanna do any of that, make sure you check out the links down below. So the first shout out goes to Abis, Abise Rosgado. Shout out to you, my bro. Matthew Lavalli, Troy Thomas, shout out to you my guys, Nathan Straws, thank you so much, and Evan Limos, shout out to you my guy. Those are the people who's purchased the decals. I actually want to give a special shout out to those of you who donated, you guys sent some crazy donations. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention Francisco again because he sent such a big donation. Shout out to Francisco. Shout out to Nick Walkenhurst. Shout out to you, my guy. Thank you so much for the giant, generous donation. You guys' donations are going right back into the build. About a lot of maintenance things with that money, so appreciate you guys so much for that. And the last guy is Drillin Ibrahimi. Shout out to you for the donation. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys wanna be shouted out in the next video, make sure you guys check out the links down below. Thank you all so much. Let's continue with the rest of the video. Alright guys, so we're here, we're finished, me and Erlang, we just traveled all the way to Stockton again for the fourth or fifth time. Um, sorry also from the, the car sounds, we got like, I don't know, like a road over here. But anyways, we went down, we got hella shit, what did you end up getting? Carpet, I drive, half the I drive system, bunch of wires, almost the whole interior. Yeah, we pretty much, honestly, if we showed you guys that car, you'd feel bad. That car is completely gutted. We had, a, we had to kill a car to fix two cars. So, I think it's worth it, you know. So, I mean, that worked out a lot. As you guys can see, this is, this is, this is nothing on the top right here. We got so much things underneath. We got things in the back seats. You can see if I have an amp system down there. Hooked us up, such a good deal. Um, once we get back, I don't know. Once I get back, um, we're gonna be go trying to install the fiber optic cables. We're gonna take it out of the harness and try to rewire it around the car. It's gonna be a lengthy process, but you know, it's definitely gonna be worth it um, because I will have sound in the car, we'll have music, I will have bass, hopefully, and as long as another speakers are blown. But yeah, for the third time, we're, we're I think we're done now. We got to the car, right? Yeah, done. Nothing else we can take except the show. There's, not, there's nothing we can get anymore. So we're here at Costco though, taking a little bit of a break. We're gonna get something to eat because we're broke right now. And you know, that's how life is. All right guys, so we just got back home. I honestly took a fat break because I was super tired. But as you guys can see, got the amp system, the wiring. Got an extra BMW logo because it was a good one. It's hard to find a good one nowadays. Um, window regulator, the carpet. I got a couple bulbs. I got the side mirror because mine's is messed up. That side mirror only is like 150. That's like 300. I got all this for under 50 bucks. So you guys know your boy getting good deals out here. My boy over here, he's missing this carpet for the longest time. So let's see if that fits in for his car real quick. Hey guys, I've been literally outside for the last three days. Going to Stockton and back, which is about an hour from my house. I don't know why I keep forgetting things, but I keep going back to him because this dude's selling stuff for the low and you know, this 335 is coming together from that car. We had it. We had a basically. We we did have to uh, eliminate a 330i from this world to fulfill a 335 and a 328 that my friend. So I think that's all right. You know, we, we made a 335 come alive from a 330i. I think I think that's pretty chill. I didn't sacrifice my own 330i, so I guess that makes y'all happy. You know. But yeah, my mood. I'm so tired, guys. You've been up. I've been up since 8 a.m. pulling out that harness and everything. It took about three, four hours just for the harness. I don't know why it took so damn long, but it did. We didn't want to cut anything, we wanted to keep everything OEM, so when I redo the wiring, you know, I use these wires and everything should come out really sick. Now yeah. look at this, guys. All right. Look at that carpet OEM. fitting in like OEM. Because it is OEM. Are you sure? Rip, dude, it's not for it. It's not for it? <laughs> no way. Saddle noodle, saddle noodle doodle, saddle noodle doodle. Oh no! How are we gonna make it fixed? We're gonna make it work. What are you talking about, dude? Side on noodle, doodle, side on right noodle. This right here. Just break. Just take that part off. I'm pretty sure you can take that off. Yep. Right. Just take that padding off. What? Side on noodle, doodle, not a pseudo, doodle, doodle, not a doodle. Do you... What do you say, dear? What? Side on noodle. Woohoo! Side on noodle doodle, not a doodle pseudo. You guys can see. 
لا وي ار بروفيشنالز جايز اوكي ده لوكس ده لوكس هو يعني فو بار نيرو سار سار نيرو وات ذا هيل از ذات سر كيوسيتي دام اه نو اتس لايك واي واز ات ذير اتس لايك ذات از نوت سبوس تو بي ذير واي واي دو يو هاف ذات اوت اوف يور كار اي جيس وي جوت يور ترنك ذات سم اكسترا بيسز يو اي واز لوكينج فور ذات تول كيس يو So anyways guys, so um, my brother is going to be working on getting this entire door panel off and we're going to try to get this window up. It won't go up at all, the motor is completely shot. So we're going to try to get the, pretty much the window up manually, take off the motor and replace it with the new motor that we have somewhere around here. Um, where is it? Wow guys, I'm really weak actually. Anyway, so here's the new amp. My friend's telling me that if I saw the new amp, I should be able to at least get sound in the car. So we're gonna go ahead and try to install the amp anyways. Um, I'm not gonna replace the wiring just yet. The wiring's gonna be for a separate video because you guys know that the wiring is gonna take forever. Let me show you guys how much wiring we have for this car. Like, just look at that, guys. Well, that's the window regulator right there, actually. But if you guys look at it over here, this is all the wiring. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a project, boys, but you guys know me. If I want something done, it's gonna get done. If I need a new engine, I need a new engine. If I need a whole harness of the car for the interior, I'm gonna do that. If he wants Chipotle, if I want Chipotle, he's gonna get Chipotle. I'm gonna get Burger King. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, because that's life, you know? I don't got that kind of money to eat Chipotle every day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyways, it's super hot. We're gonna try to get some work done. So, anyways, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and pop up the trunk, show you guys. Um, got power and everything this baby's a beast you know this car was exposed um, outside of Copa for a very long time it's got two holes there because of the bullet where it actually came in right there it was leaking and went straight down here and actually went behind this I don't know if you guys can see that but it went behind there um, and this was all wet when I got the car like it was this is all wet I'm starting to think that that probably corroded or something or something happened to the actual amp water got in it we're gonna take it out um, and just replace it. I mean, we have the other amp right now. I'm hoping this amp is perfectly fine. If it is, we should be able to get some sound in this car. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery so we don't blow anything that we shouldn't. Alright guys, so as you guys know, um, my car doesn't have any sound, mainly because either the amp is blown, well, I know, I don't know if the amp is blown, but I do know 100% sure that the fiber optic cables are all cut and they're not even connected to the CCC system. So, what we're going to be doing um, in the next video, or probably a few videos down, we're going to be installing the CCC system, uh, I mean not the CCC system, we're going to be installing the fiber optic cables, the entire harness of the entire car. Now I don't have a diagram. But I, I was the one to remove it. So I should be able to figure out a way to put it back. But I'm not going to use all the cables. I'm just going to use specifically the fiber optics and try to just reroute it through the entire car and, you know, rewire it. But um, I'm going to show you guys what I mean right now. Why I think the amp could be out. Because when I put in the key in the ignition, there's no sound. There's, doesn't, it's not telling me, you know, that the door is open. Like, it's, it's, it's supposed to, you know, make that beeping noise, a chimming sound that you guys don't like. Yeah, you guys probably saying, oh, you should be blessed to have no trimming sound. Well, I have no sound at all. So, I mean, even when I turn on the radio, nothing. Um, there's no audio whatsoever. So, that's unfortunate. But we did get the amp for around 20 bucks today. Those amps go for typically 300 bucks. We're going to go ahead, install the new amp, see if you have any difference in the audio. At least, at least can you hear a trimming sound. We open up the doors, then we have a chance, boys. So, let's go ahead and install the new amp and uh, see what we're going to get. We're going to go with this project. <laughs> Hi guys, so I went ahead and uh, connected the new amp. Basically just unplugged it off the old one, plugged it into the new one. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery and see if there's any sounds in the engine bay whatsoever. That would be amazing if there is. Hi guys, finally connected the battery. My heart's actually beating. I don't know if this is probably it. Probably still need to replace the fiber off the cables. Let's see if there's any sound when I open up the door. Or I'm gonna have to put in the key. Let's see. Oh my god, my heart's hurting. Please sit, please God. I think the key has to be in the ignition. Please God, oh God, is it the amp? That's not the right key. 
I'm still not hearing any sounds. Darn. All right, well, uh, let's give this a few seconds. Maybe something will happen. Let me try to see if I can play any audio. Darn, that sucks. But then, then again, guys, the fiber optic cables, every single one is torn. So, still give me a good chance that the fiber optic cables will fix all my problems. All right, so still nothing with that. All right, guys, so we went ahead and installed the new window regulator. We installed uh, the carpet in my brother's car. We put in a new amp. Unfortunately, the amp did not actually cut it. So, I think what we're gonna do in this same video, because I wanna keep y'all waiting, you guys know me, trying to give you guys the best content possible, we're gonna go ahead, gut the interior of the car, and we're gonna do the rewiring. Now you might be asking me, Nor, isn't this a lot of work? Is it worth the work? Yes, for music, it's definitely worth. So, I'm really excited about it. I'm really hoping these fiber optic cables will solve my problem with the audio. If there's still no audio after this, at least then I can get it diagnosed and I can figure it out because I know everything is connected properly. But as of now, knowing that the fiber optic cables are cut, you can only assume that it's the fiber optics. So I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm gonna wait for my cousin to come over. I'm gonna go ahead and gut the car, move the car toward the center of the garage, gut it completely again, and go ahead and go forth with, you already know. So it used to give me a good idea to actually just plug in the harness in the car, like literally just plug it in, route the wires over the seats and plug it into the CCC system and you know, run the music. So if we get sound after we rewire all this stuff, we're just gonna unplug it all and wire it correctly and then put it back in the car. Um, we're, just, we're just trying to test out the audio, make sure that the wires are actually getting the sound across and that's our actual problem. So we pretty much just routed the wires, we plugged it all around in the car, plugged it to the amp, we plugged it to the Bluetooth, and then um, now we also plugged it to the CCC system. We only plugged in the green wires because the car is running off the original wires of the car, so that's how it's gonna power everything. Um, so we just plugged in the, the actual fiber optic cables, we're gonna go ahead and try to start up the car, see if there's any sound, we'll, we'll just give it a shot. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and connect the battery. So there's no sound, we're gonna go ahead and open up the door, Still no sound. So at this point, I'm still not getting any audio, but I, I'm feeling that um, after all these wires being disconnected and reconnected, it short-circuited something. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna try to pull out the fuses, replace the fuses, and you know, we'll try it one more time. All right guys, actually we do have another amp. So let me test out the other amp real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and try the fuses. So this is the new amp we got. Uh, I have a feeling that this amp could have some problems because of the holes that were there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in this amp, hope for the best. So we just replaced the amp. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the battery, see again if, it is, if it's possible the amp, I mean both, both amps could be both bad, so it could be our luck with amps. But uh, we're gonna try that one more time. If that doesn't work, we're gonna go ahead and check, check the fuses, replace the fuses, so I have the fuses, and then we'll go from there. All right guys, so I still, I'm not having any sounds right now. We checked, we checked the new amp, we, we were already, we done all the wiring. Obviously it's not the prettiest thing. But, I mean, now we're left with just, th it's the fuses. So we're gonna go ahead and go in the glove box, unplug all the fuses, and replace all the fuses. All right guys, so actually before I do the fuses, because people are telling me on the forums that if it's the, if you're not getting any chimming sounds, then it's not a fuse. Because if it's a fuse to the radio, you will still have chimming sounds. I'm having no chimming sounds. So I went ahead and ordered this thing a couple days in advance because I knew I'm gonna have to deal with this. Um, this is called like a fiber optic loop. So basically you plug this into either your amp or your Bluetooth system and you keep test fitting it to different locations where the fiber optics go until you hear a chimming sound. And if you still have no music sound, that's when, the, that's when you check the fuses. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna have to 
cut this because this is made for the 7 series. I'm gonna have to cut it till you just see the fiber optics and I'm going to plug it in and see what we can do. All right guys, so we've been going at this for the last few minutes. We replaced all the fuses that associates with, that associates with the radio. We went ahead and replaced... Huh? Get out we ended up plugging in the entire harness and it still didn't work. So right now what they're doing, they're, they're just taking out just the green wires. We're gonna go ahead and wire it inside the car. Make sure at least the wiring is all good. And once we check all the wiring is good, um, we're gonna end up taking it down to like an audio shop or something if they can diagnose the issue. Um, maybe even take it down to a shop and see if they can run the codes for the SOS light. Maybe that can lead down to the actual problem why the sound's not working. That's not the priority, but as long as I get the wiring all in there, I know the wiring's all there. It's just either my amp, my Bluetooth uh, module, whatever that is, or my CCC system that I recently purchased could be bad. If you guys know if the CCC system, if it goes out or something, it like loses audio, let me know if that's a possibility. If any of you guys work at BMW and that can check this for me, that'd be amazing. So if any of you guys work at BMW anywhere within like two hours of the Sacramento area, I'd be more than happy to drive down to you guys when I get this car legally on the road. And if you guys can help me diagnose it, I mean the world. But yeah, so they're just gonna go ahead and start working on that stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out the seats so I can remove the carpets and tuck the wires underneath and everything. Alright guys, so we were able to get the cables, you know, kind of as far as we can. Unfortunately, the carpet is, I can't pull the carpet high enough to get the, the, the fiber optics underneath the center console and into the dash where the CC system is, which I need to plug it into. So I could, you know, probably try to use something to tie the wires around and pull it up there, but I don't want to accidentally snap something or break it because these fiber optics, if one if one is gone, it's all gone. So they have to stay in a loop. That's how fiber optics work. If, they're the, if there's like any connection loss in any area, none of it will work whatsoever. Um, so fiber optics are kind of complicated, but we're going to try our best. We're going to try to wire it in. But as of now, it looks like we're going to have to move the center console again. And I hate moving the center console, but if we're going to end up removing it, I'm going to end up putting the brown interior in this car again because that is the hardest part to remove. So I might as well take out the brown interior, throw it in this car, put the black interior, throw it in the 330i, and we'll just rock it like that, you know? <laughs> 